going to get started on our second ornament for my Victorian Christmas tree. I really think this one is just oh so cute. So getting started on the second ornament, tighten your embroidery hoop up as tight as it'll go because you do not want these two pieces to come apart. I'm going to take my paper here that I have and I'm going to just trace around uh, the embroidery hoop just like I did on the other one. I'm going to have to um, move my hoop just a little bit and get around that little notched piece because I want it to be the same. I would just want it to be nice and round. I do not need that notch piece in there. So we're just going to line up the circle and then complete it. There we go. Now we have a nice little round circle. I'm going to cut that out. Okay, so we have our circle. Some wax paper here because I'm getting ready to make a mess. All right. Now we're just going to take this piece of paper that we just cut out and we're going to cut out uh, a lace piece as well. Just put that under there, the lace right on top of the circle you just cut and go around it. I'm going to paint the front of this uh, paper here and paint the right side of the paper. And get that Mod Podge on there. Good, because we want our lace to stick to this paper. Okay. Just going to lay my piece of lace right down on top of here. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit more Mod Podge to the top. Make sure that it's adhered really well. And this will dry nice and clear. You're not going to be able to see this at all. So it'll be beautiful when you're done. All right. Put another piece of wax paper here. And then I'm going to set a heavy jar on it so it'll dry nice and flat. And now when that's dry, we'll continue with this ornament. Okay, so this is not completely dry, but that's okay because I'm going to put some more uh, glue on it. We're going to continue here. I'm just going to take some glue and use Mod Podge. I do not know why I swap between the two. I have no idea. <laughs> so I'm just going to put some glue on here. I think this just goes around a little easier, this glue. I'm going to put some glue on the um, back of the embroidery hoop. Did I tell you guys that I got these embroidery hoops uh, from Amazon? I could buy them in bulk from Amazon. That's where I got them if you needed to know that. Just going to lay that right on there so that when you turn it over, you can see the lace and um, the flowers there. Now I'm going to put a jar on that and let it dry. Okay, so we're ready for our next step. Again, I'm going to be using uh, this ribbon that has the pearls in it. But this time I'm going to be putting it right on the front like so, all the way around. All right, now this little um, flower pick that I have over here, I'm just going to completely take it apart. If I could find my um, little tool that does that. Okay. Here it is. Now we're just going to just deconstruct this little guy because I do not want him together at all. Now most of these little flower picks and things, they just come apart completely. So that's going to work great for me. All right. Now these are the parts that I'm going to use. Of course, not all of them on this one little piece here, uh, but I'm just going to lay them where I think it would look pretty. Create my own little um, arrangement here. Let's see, how do I want this? There we go. Oh, that's pretty. And we'll put a little pine cone there and then tie a ribbon at the top. That's going to be cute. I think I'm going to go ahead and put my ribbon in place. That way I kind of know how to um, place these little pieces. All right, just put it in place with a little hot glue. Oops, I think I'm going to need another glue stick. Yeah, I am. All right, I'm just going to place that right there and place our little leaves here. Trim that off a little bit more. That's kind of a bit much there. So I'm going to hot glue them in place. 
And there's no uh, right or wrong way to do this. Whatever you like. It's gonna be perfect. Okay. Put this little piece in. And I did get these to kind of match my tree. I saw them and I'm like, ooh! Then ideas just started, you know, just started happening there. All right, and we're gonna put a little pine cone right there. Oh, love it. There we go. What do y'all think? I think it turned out oh so cute. Now I'm gonna go hang them on my Victorian Christmas tree. Okay, y'all, I hope that you enjoyed this video on some more ornaments for my Victorian Christmas tree. I think they turned out so cute. Real excited about this one because I wanna see what it looks like with the light shining in behind it. And you might not be able to see it, but I'll take a picture and put it at the end of the video. That way you can see as well. Okay. Yay! Oh my goodness, it's adorbs. This is so cute as well. Anyway, where am I? I'm running out of room, y'all. Really, I'm running out of room. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. It goes really good here with the rest of my ornaments. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope that you can use it to make your very own. Anyway, I'll see y'all again next time. Bye now.